Greetings, my name is Ryan Nitsch. I'm a Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services, and I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about IBM's Instana. What is IBM Instana? Well, IBM Instana is a very clever solution to a problem that I believe very many customers face. If we look at the modern day application stack, the modern day application stack has a infrastructure component, it has database, it has networking. The infrastructure in a modern day application context is incredibly diverse. It can be on premises, it could be on the cloud. Uh, it could be containers, it could be microservices running in containers. It could even be legacy technical debt monoliths running as containerized workloads. Uh, it could be SaaS applications. It could be uh, applications that are running in a serverless context. Or it could be sort of relatively uh, interesting sort of Java-based building blocks running in something like a, uh, an application platform, something like Elastic Beanstalk running on AWS. How do I identify issues between all of the relationships of all of these different components? So I think what, what most of my customers are asking for is observability into everything that is their application employer. So a full stack observability solution. And, and this is one of the things that Instana provides is literally a full stack observability offering. So what we have here is the ability to monitor not just what is going on inside my application workloads. I've had it before where I've got an observability layer for my apps and a separate observability layer for my infrastructure. And sometimes I have a very fun experience of trying to uh, consolidate you know, what's going on between these two. Instana provides me an insight into both the applications and the infrastructure. Now you're going to say to me, oh great, so now I have 27 different agents install processes and I need this for my database, this for my networking, this for my underlying uh, container host, this for some VM that's running over there, a different thing for these kinds of applications. And that is where I was very pleasantly surprised with Instana. Yes, Instana does provide multiple deployment options. I can use it to monitor things running on Elastic Beanstalk, for example. I can use it to monitor container workloads running on Kubernetes, whether that's something like EKS or OpenShift or you know, vanilla uh, Kubernetes. I can monitor workloads running in a serverless uh, architecture such as AWS Lambda or even AWS Fargate. And very, very simple deployment mechanism. And it's largely automated. And the automation is twofold. I've got automatic discovery of workloads. So yes, you can specifically install an agent or I can specifically earmark a application workload to be monitored and observed. Or I can deploy the Instana uh, sort of platforms and I can let it discover what things are existing there. So for example, if I put this onto a Kubernetes platform, uh, Instana will identify, you know, what are the pods? It will identify what are the container resources? What are the microservices there? How do they relate to each other? When, what is the flow of interaction? So there is a automated detection process and there is also automated discovery. And this is discovery of, as I mentioned before, a few things. Firstly, microservices and even non-containerized or non-modernized application ponent. And what we have the ability to do is create something called a 
perspective. What a perspective is, is literally I can take these things and group them together for visualization of different stakeholders. So my database team, my security team, my networking team, my infrastructure team, and any other sort of app owner stakeholder can get information that is specific to them, can get insights as to what their dependencies are, how information is relating to them. Multiple deployment mechanisms, as I have mentioned before. We also have the ability for cross-team visualization. It's no longer a case of each team has its own information in its own little silo. We can interact with it together. We can customize dashboards. We can put in alerting mechanisms. Let's take this a step further, because this is just like a very clever aggregation, and that's unfair to Instana. What Instana does is actually takes all of this and combines it with an AI backend. So what we have is uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, looking at all of these interactions from a flow perspective, uh, historic data, and allows the AI to do predictive elements. So things such as, is this a common occurrence within how this application has behaved historically? Based on our other applications, when we're seeing this type of behavior, it's this. And what the AI can do is move us into a proactive sort of monitoring and detection. And depending on how you configure this, we can even go as far as to automate correction. Now this is fun, but let's take it a step further. I can take Instana and I can hook it into my DevOps process. I can take my pipeline process where a developer pushes code to Git and then my pipeline automation build process picks up that code, builds it, uh, deploys it on a testing environment and Instana can immediately have a look at the behavior of that application and compare it to what has happened previously and highlight, hang on, here's a behavior that's different, here's an issue and immediately notify my developer team, we left the devs out, uh, notify the developer team that here's an issue here, here's something that needs to be corrected, here's a performance issue within my application stack, which means I get feedback very, very early on in the build process of my applications, long before they go into production, long before they impact my customers. I get immediate feedback, which is, means my developers have a time to respond to that. We have a, a tangible shift to the left because we're getting visibility. Likewise, my security team can come into the picture uh, earlier on. Why is all of this relevant to AWS? Now, most of the customers I work with have a existing investment on premises. They are hybrid customers. They have massive investments of legacy technical application stacks. Those customers are migrating to AWS to take advantage of things such as increased scalability, increased resilience, reduction of costs, better security. And some customers are coming to AWS for a much broader portfolio of AWS native services. So they're bringing those native services that AWS offers into their application stacks. Because of this migration to AWS, having Instana to manage your on-premises and your cloud investments makes sense. But it also opens the door into integrations. And what Instana integrates with currently is a myriad of AWS services. I'm just going to list some of them that I've seen customers build application stacks out of. So for some customers have a very diverse environment. They're using Elastic Beanstalk and running traditional sort of Java or node jaced workloads uh, in Elastic Beanstalk. It means they can just write application code, throw it into Beanstalk, and Beanstalk manages the infrastructure for them. Uh, likewise, there are business units in the same customer that might be taking a serverless approach or customers taking a, a containerized microservices approach with a flavor of Kubernetes, whether that's vanilla Kubernetes, EKS, or OpenShift. We have a, a growing 
uh, offering of storage systems and data offerings that customers are using instead of managing all of their own. They're utilizing AWS's relational database service. I use the database, AWS worries about the actual database engine and the administrative side of it. Uh, DynamoDB, which is a NoSQL solution, which is very common for application uh, solutions. I need caching, messaging, and queuing systems. So I see uh, AWS MQ coming into the picture. I see Open Search or Elasticsearch. I see Kinesis for streaming data into the environment. And I also see queuing mechanisms such as uh, uh, Amazon's uh, SQS. So all of these building blocks together uh, give me different components of my overall application stack. Instana can interact with all of these. Instana can plug into them and get visibility and telemetry on them, so whether it's at the infrastructure level or the applications running on it. Uh, Instana has a way to deploy to most of these with relative ease, whether it is a Kubernetes platform where I'm installing a sort of Helm agent onto my Kubernetes platform to discover things, and the best part of this, if, if my customer's unsure, Instana provides a couple of very attractive ways to assess Astana as a full stack observability solution within the context of my customer's business. I can take advantage of a 14 day test or trial period so I can deploy Instana into my environment, into my business, work with the Instana team to configure it for my applications and my use case and validate it for free for 14 days. I have the ability to take advantage of a sandbox environment where I as the customer can play with Instana in a safe way with the guidance of the Instana team. And if I decide to pull the trigger on this, if I decide this is something meaningful to my business, it isn't a long-winded consultative process. I can literally go directly to AWS's marketplace and do a search for Instana and deploy the Instana platform into my AWS account and start configuring and using it. So if you're looking for something that provides visibility across multiple teams, you're looking for things that are gonna provide insight into applications and infrastructure, you're looking for a proactive way of approaching things, you're looking to automate things, and you're not wanting to granularly manage every relationship. You want deep insight into how components are interacting with each other, what are related components, what are their dependencies. Take some time and have a look at IBM Instana.